The pens that many of you have been waiting for. The EDC ink pens now made from incredible titanium. Never be caught without a pen again. The EDC ink pens are ultra compact, rugged, and designed to always be with you. I really love the reaction I get every time I show off the seamless joint where the cap meets the barrel of the pen. It really is fun to see their amazement. Two years ago here on Kickstarter, I launched the original EDC ink pens made from stainless steel and have sold thousands of them. Unfortunately, they've been out of stock for some time since I've been busy with my last project, the Pocket Bolt Pens. So I can't wait to get production of these new pens underway. If you're not familiar with titanium, it's an incredible metal. Due to its lightweight, strength, and toughness, it's used to build spaceships and the most advanced fighter jets. Titanium also has another very unique property. When it's heated to very high temperatures, the material's surface transforms into incredibly vibrant and beautiful colors. All of these unique characteristics makes it the perfect material for an everyday carry pen. The titanium EDC ink pens come in two sizes. The T1 is the smallest, most compact version and is perfect for jotting down a quick note or capturing a quick idea. The T2 is a little longer and is better if you have larger hands or plan to do more writing or sketching. Both sizes use the same standard D1 refill. This standard refill is made by most of the major pen manufacturers and is easy to find. Your pen will ship with the auto black ink refill, installed and ready to use. These are really great and smooth writing refills. Since this will be my third pen project here on Kickstarter, I've learned the process and now have the infrastructure in place to move quickly. From the manufacturing and finishing of all the parts, to the assembly and laser engraving and finally the packaging and shipping. All parts of your pen will be made by me here in Los Angeles, California, ensuring the highest level of quality. My workshop is set up and I've already prototyped the titanium versions of the EDC ink pens using my CNC lathe. This ensures that I can make them in titanium to my exacting specifications. So now I hope you'll join me on this cool new project and help to make it happen. As you can see from the comments on my previous two pen projects here on Kickstarter, I work hard for you to make sure I deliver what I promise. My goal is that you enjoy the entire experience. I'll share photos and videos of each step in the process of making your pens. Your pen will also come beautifully packaged, so they're really great to give as super high quality gifts. Now that I have everything in place, I really need your help to purchase all of the titanium and production tooling. With your pledge, I will be able to bulk purchase all of the material and pass the savings on to you. Now is your chance to have a super high quality go everywhere pen made from a real space age material that you can enjoy and use every day. I really love the community here on Kickstarter and I look forward to working with you again to make this project happen. Your support really means a lot so please send me a message if you have any questions.
Hey everybody, this is a demo of the Lever Gear tool card uh, screwdrivers and wrenches. Um, as you can see, there are three screwdrivers on the corners of the tool card and a variety of wrenches. We have both uh, metric, as you can see, and inch wrenches. Um, we'll start with the screwdrivers. We've got a small Phillips head screwdriver. It's actually three prong to help you kind of align it. Um, there's a small flat head screwdriver and there's a larger flathead screwdriver, and this also doubles as a uh, large Phillips head. Um, one uh, thing that's uh, pretty interesting about the tool card, which I haven't seen on other cards, is that the screwdrivers are actually perpendicular with the far corner, so you can use the far corner of the card to line up the screwdriver when you're getting it set. So here's a, here we have a small uh, Phillips head screw, so I'm just gonna put it in there, and as you can see, it's easy to align and turn. Um, here is just a larger Phillips head screw. I'm using the same same tool. Turn it like so. Um, I don't actually have a flathead screw, so <laughs> but you guys, I'm sure you know what what uh, how to use those. Um, and then this just shows with a larger uh, Phillips head, we can use the flathead uh, driver, which turns into basically a 2D Phillips. Uh, so easy peasy. Um, now let's go to the wrenches. Um, there, as I said, there are several wrenches. These are closed-end wrenches for when you can go over the over the top. And then this, these are open-end wrenches uh, for situations uh, like maybe like a cable where you have to you have to slide it in uh, and can't you know can't get a closed-end wrench on. Um, but just going down the line here, um, one thing is you can just sort of you don't have to know the exact size. You can just sort of work it down until it fits. And then it's easy to turn. Um, again, all the edges on the tool card are smooth, so you know your grip is always pretty comfortable, and you can generally get some good leverage. Um, this just shows a larger, a larger uh, bolt here, and easy to turn. Um, and then this is the largest inch size we have. It's actually in the bottle opener, um, but that's just another, another wrench for you. Uh, here we have an eye bolt, and there's not a specific tool for that, but just wanted to point out that you can just sort of slide it in the wrenches and use that to get leverage on the eye bolt. Um, another unique feature of the tool card is that there's a, a quarter inch hex bit holder, um, which also doubles as a quarter inch wrench, but you can take any standard hex bit um, and slide it in there and then use that to turn, uh, oops, to turn any bolt that will accept it. It works great with Allen keys or other bits where you don't have to apply a lot of downward pressure. Um, so that's just another way to carry more drivers with you. Um, and again, this is the, this shows how the open-ended wrenches can, can work. Go on here. One thing I want to point out about the open-ended wrenches, um, they, they only work in one direction. So uh, you get it, get it close, you can turn it this way because it hooks in on this corner but if you try to turn it the other way it'll just slide right off so you can turn it one way if you want to if you want to go the other direction you actually just flip the card over and you can whoops you can turn it the other way um, so just it's something important to note if you're trying to use the open-ended wrenches you're gonna have to be aware of which way you can turn it um, I guess that's that's it for now there you go